Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at counting coins. So let's start by going over our vocab. So we have a coin which is money that is made of metal. It is usually round and made of gold, silver, bronze or a mixture of these metals. A note is money that is made of paper. Notes are worth more than coins and are usually rectangles. A pound is the unit of money used in the UK or in England. It can also look like this, pound sign. And pence is a smaller unit of money used in the UK and we call it P for short. Okay, so let's start by revising what amounts are shown here. So for the first one, they are all pennies. They're all one penny, so we can just count in ones. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is six P, very good. The next one, they're all two pence or two P coins. So we can count in, yeah, in our twos. Ready? Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 14 P. Are you ready to try some of these by yourself? Get your pencil and your paper and let's have a look at the first question. Okay, so here we have question one, question two and question three. Question one and three are all five P coins. So you can use your skip counting by five to show the amount. Question two are all 10 P coins. So you can use skip counting by 10. Pause the video while you count what amounts are shown for question one, two and three. Okay, now it gets a bit trickier because the numbers are getting mixed up. So for question four, we have some 1p coins and some 2p coins. So we're going to have to count up the 1p coins, count up the 2p coins and add them together. For question five, we have to add the 2p coins and the 5p coins and then add them together. For question six, we have to count the two, the five and the 10p coins and add them together. Pause the video now while you answer question four, five and six. Okay, here we have question seven. We need to count the coin, sorry, to count the value of the coins and write the answer above to complete the bar model. So for the first question, we need to count how many pounds and we need to write it. I want you to practice writing the pound sign as well. So make sure you've included the pound sign. For the second part, these are all two pound coins. So you're going to have to count in twos and find out how many pounds there are to complete the bar model. Pause the video now while you finish question seven. Okay, question eight. How many different ways can you make 5p? So think about how you can make five. Now remember, we need to use 1p coins, 2p coins and 5p coins. We can't use a 3p or a 4p because they don't exist. We only have 1p, 2p and 5p. So for question eight, I want you to think of all of the ways that you could make 5p using those coins. There's lots of different ways. See if you can think of all of them. When you're finished, check your work and upload it onto your Dojo portfolio. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.